Hello and welcome to Minecraft for the Xbox 360 and the brand new Mass Effect mashup pack which was released today the 4th of September 2013 at around about 11.30 and so it's basically a mashup pack of texture packs, a skin pack and also a Mass Effect world which we're just about to jump into on creative mode so I can show you around. So, you should be able to hear here, in, in the background of my music, um, they've changed the actual music in Minecraft on this resource pack so that it sounds like the kind of music you get in Mass Effect. Now, I mean, one could only assume that they worked with the team behind Mass Effect so that everything is as accurate as possible. And so when you see this world in a minute, you'll understand that it's um, on a Mars-like planet, I think. I'm not too sure on the story of Mass Effect, but it's um, quite a nice that area which you go into. So here we go. Um, once the back that area over there loads up, you'll see it even more. But So here you have your kind of landing vehicle, which you'll have gotten out of in the game, I guess. Um, and here you've got your starting chest, which I don't really need because I've um, gone on to creative. So over here you've got these um, solar panels, that's what work out what block that is, they are made with lapis lazuli blocks, that's quite interesting, um, over here you've got generators and all that kind of stuff, so what block are those? They are not visible on here I don't think, oh TNT looks interesting, note blocks are good as well, so what was that block then? Ah, there you go, gold ore. So gold ore gives you power. Here you've got these new levers and buttons. There you go. And over here you've got an example of the rails, which are now only a single track. That's a boat, not a minecart. Where's a minecart? There you go, so if you put a minecart down, then you see it's kind of got this Mass Effect design on it again. There you go, so... From there, let's fly over here. So we've got some examples of wheat, I think, or grass, something like that. And here you've got some more vehicles, and they show off the ladders. So here you go, you've got this brand new ladder um, design, which is just an iron version of it, really. And here now, there's this building, which I've tried to get into before. I don't think there's actually anything in here, no. It's just a, um, like, aesthetic building. As you see here, it's just empty. But it's you know a very you know an interesting design. I'm guessing it has some kind of purpose in the actual game. I could be wrong, but yeah. So as you can also see the landscape is um, extremely um, like strange actually. It's like all pockmarked with stuff. And what's this over here? That block is. I don't actually know what that is. That's that could be coal ore. So. It's kind of weird how all of the ores look in the rocks, but I think they have had to do that to get all the textures which they wanted to build this world. So anyway, now, as we enter the uh, main building here, you find you get into the loading bay. Unfortunately, you can't teleport up to the top yet, so I'm just going to fly out. And here as well, you've got these kind of piston designs. I'm not sure what they're for. I think they could be for cranes. So something that could be put into a normal Minecraft world or onto just you know, anything with this texture pack on. So look around, we've got down here, these are intractable. I'll show you quickly over the various blocks like the chest, crafting table and the furnace. So chest you may have seen earlier is like that. So it's a brown chest and nice and simple. Here you've then got your crafting table with a brand new display on it. I'll also show you that in the menus, it's all themed like Mass Effect. And here you've got a furnace, again, with a blue design on it to make it look more like the actual game. Over here you've got another room. Not sure of the use of that, um, but you can see that by using these iron bars here, which have now made into blue um, bits like this, you can get like a hologram effect. So let's leave that room, let's go into the next one. 
So up here you got some kind of loading bay, I think it is. Um, ah, secret passageway. I haven't actually seen this one before. What's in there? I'll probably a um, light or something. As you go around, um, you know, just these blocks again, there's, I think these are all, what are these? Um, no, that's a boat I'm putting down. Okay, so they aren't interactable. But as we keep going around, um, I'm not sure where this is going to take me out, but it's somewhere new as far as I can tell. So yeah, up we go, through a brand new trapdoor design, into another part of the building. So here they, I believe, have used paintings. Um, they've kind of designed those to look like consoles and all that. So they could be quite useful if you're building um, an interactive world on here, and you want something um, to look like it does in the game. What's in here then? Just some random room. And this is actually an area I've already been into. I didn't realise that the tunnel was taking me to here. So anyway, now that we've been in here and explored this part of it, I'm going to now try and find um, the rest of the place. So, over here, now it's a connected building, but I don't know how to get to it, so I'm going to... Ah, I see. It's not actually a real building. It's just a... Uh... There you go, this is, I think. Is it? Not really, no. So it's all just been kind of put together to look nice, but not to actually be functional. Which I think is fair enough, because it will take a very long time to make everything just one block higher. So as I want to know now, is how do we get up here, and is there anything up here? I think the easiest way to find that out is to dig in through the top. I know, see, this is again just a massive empty tower. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed in that, actually, but, you know, it's kind of, you know, very difficult to actually make something like this to look very good. Um, and be functional, so they've they done a very good job aesthetically, but it's a bit kind of dull other than that. Now, as we go down to this area again, so you've got this big wall structure around here again. I don't think there's anything actually in here. We can have a quick look though. No, there you go. It's just a very kind of narrow corridor through there, which isn't actually meant to be used. But I think overall. It's a really, really nice uh, mashup pack. I will show you some other blocks right now, actually, whilst we're here. So, we've got clay, which has that like, kind of um, black and yellow stripe on it as, as like a warning sign. I thought it's kind of interesting. In fact, I've got something we might need to try. Sorry about the first. Sorry about that. Um, so, I'm going to try going to the nether once I can find out where the obsidian is. Where would it be? So, one problem on here is that you can't recognise anything. Ah, so you see all these blocks around here are actually obsidian. So, if I was to build one, two, three, four. Um, that's right. I'm just intrigued to find out what's actually in the nether. So then if I go from there to the flint and steel area. There we go. So flint and steel is now actually a lighter. And the portal is yellow. So let's see where it takes us to and if there's anything actually in this new dimension. And there is. Um, wow, there's a nether fortress. I'm guessing this is all soul sand. Yeah, that's soul sand. And yeah, it's a really interesting nether. I mean, you got the, the glowstone over here, which looks quite nice. Lava over there. Again, pretty good. Now, this is the um, new texture for bedrock as well. So, it actually looks a bit more natural now. As you see here, you've got your spawner. Um, they're much the same as always, I guess, because it's difficult to change it. But yeah, so that pretty much sums up my um, journey around the brand new Mass Effect mashup pack. This is available right now on the Xbox Live store. Um, 
It costs about £2.69 in the UK, $4 something in the US. So it's a good price. And yeah, definitely worth getting if you're a fan of Mass Effect or just want to have some more blocks to um, build with. So yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. And goodbye.